If you're watching this video expecting to see the classic PC game series of space combat games, uh, then you're going to be bitterly disappointed because this is the Mastertronic Chronicles and we're looking at Wing Commander for the Commodore 64. This front cover is the final wave of grid style packaging from Mastertronic, so you get a full picture taking up the front of the packaging with no grid, but you have got the Mastertronic logo at the bottom there. Quite difficult to make out because it's uh, blending in with this cockpit view that's on the front. Nice logo for Wing Commander there as well. And uh, the spine retains the grid style, as you can see there. And the back's got a little blue about the game. Scramble, scramble, the island is under attack from enemy aircraft. Blah, 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 blah. Can you save the island from total destruction? We've got some screenshots, all of which show the same sort of cockpit view, which is obviously the in-game screenshots. And there's also a shot of an island there. And inside, we've got the aim of the game, some intro to the game, etc. And the loading instructions. And then we've got all the rest of the instructions crammed into this sort of little page and a half here. So you even got a uh, cockpit view there with all the key to all the different things that are on the readouts. How to use the enemy detection gauge or whatever you want to call it and also the keyboard controls there at the bottom. A decent loading screen on this one. Mastertronic logo at the bottom there and a nice Wing Commander logo and uh, putting you in the thick of the action there with a first person view from the cockpit. Probably the most interesting thing to note here is on the top right there it says license from CDS. So this is the title screen and as you can see the game is copyright Thorny MI Computer Software 1984, confirming that this is a re-release of an earlier game. Seems to have been published by Creative Sparks, or published by Thorny MI, or both. Anyway, so let's get on with the game. You press space, there's lots of keys, as we've seen in the instructions, and lots of readouts to try and make sense of as well. Um, I will do my best. So you can select your skill level, novice pilot or ace i'm going to use pilot because i've played through on the novice level and you don't actually seem to get any enemies to fight on that to skill level so we we'll press f3 to start and the first thing you've got to do is take off it doesn't really look like you're on a runway um, this green and blue layout here will become very familiar as the game progresses but to start moving you press the plus sign which builds up your power which you can see going up on the gauge on the right you get up to a certain power you can then pull back on the joystick and take off you have to manage your power accordingly as you take off to stop yourself stalling which I seem to have managed to do or maybe not there we go so I'm up in the air now something's beeping a bit I'm not quite sure why losing power a bit more right there we go I'm up in the air as you can hear there's some basic sort of aircraft noises so once you're up in the air and I'll climb up to a decent sort of altitude with a bit more power okay so let's get up to 8,000 feet that's our, that seems reasonable level out oh something's happening something bad's happening I'm not quite sure what Oh, I've still got my undercarriage up, that's why it's complaining. So I just pressed U to so that, and that's changed to red there on the left. So I'm plodding along. Uh, you can get the target up on the screen, that allow, that lets you align yourself correctly with the horizon, which as you can see now, the altitude has stopped. So I'm now at 14,000 feet, which is a little bit higher than I was intending. Let's drop the velocity a bit and drop down to about 10,000. Mm -hmm. For starters, okay, that'll do. Okay, so I'm trundling along in the air. Trundling is probably not quite the right word. Flying would be better. So if I get the map up on the screen, you can see a few things on the map. This is me, this little white dot. That's an enemy, and that's what the enemy is going to try and drop a bomb on. And the idea of the game is to intercept the enemy before he gets to the target and drops a bomb on it. 
so to do that obviously you've got to steer towards the enemy uh, this thing here somehow tells you where the enemy is basically you've got to get it so that the six or nine blobs in the middle are lit up red and you do that by angling yourself towards the enemy So I'm on an, an intercept of sorts, let's whack the speed up a bit now. Try and get a bit closer to him. In the meantime, what can I say? Um, the, the readouts are all quite well done. Lots of things telling you how to do things or what you need to do to correct things. Um, the landscape that you're looking at is crap. And there's absolutely no indication that you're high up in the air or that the grounds below you is moving or anything really it's all just a bit naff uh, I still seem to be going roughly in the right direction here uh, but until I reach the enemy there's not a lot else to say you can press W and that switches between bombs and guns if you look at the bottom left there so that's guns that's a bomb oh that was a nice little explosion I haven't tried that before. Not much else to say really. You can refuel when you need to. Um, I've never tried it. I'm probably not going to. So you can see on the display here, that's the enemy plane and that's me. We are on loosely on an intercept course at the moment. Don't know how high up it is. That's the difficult part I've found so far. I was trying to get the right height. It does seem to be straight ahead now, but possibly a bit lower down is that scene or a bit higher up I'm not entirely sure I'm guessing higher up because going lower down doesn't seem to have helped in any way so let's get a bit higher up and see if we can find him oh well that's some more blobs have appeared I'm now, he's gone straight past me and I've missed him basically. Which is exactly what happened the last playthrough I had. I'm actually now upside down, which can't be good for the plane. Well, I totally flew past the opposition plane and uh, ended up trying to turn around and ended up crashing into the ground. Uh, so I've had to restart and if we look at the map, once again I've taken off from here this is me and that's the enemy at the moment bloody miles away so uh, I'm off over there to try and intercept him again the big problem with this game apart from the fact it's really boring is that you've got no idea what altitude the enemy's flying at so if you don't get the right altitude as you get close to him I think you've got basically no chance so I'll plod along and see if I can try and find him this time I'm now getting in within reasonable proximity of him, he's just appeared on the same map as me. I've still got no idea what height he's at. Chances are I'm going to miss him, he's going to fly right past me here, in fact, this is just ridiculous. What a boring game. I'll give chase to him for a little bit. I'm over the sea now and uh, the landscape's changed to a nice shade of blue instead. Um, I pretty much give up already. It's pretty tedious stuff. Never been a fan of flight simulators anyway. And uh, well, if you had to fly to walk from one place to another and maybe land on a runway, at least it would be a flight simulator as it is. Basically you just take off and then fly around aimlessly trying to catch the opposition enemy plane. Um, uh, which is really difficult to do because you've got no idea what altitude it flies at. You can fly from anything from 100 units of altitude to like 30,000 of them. So it's really rather pointless. Oh, this doesn't look good. Uh, so in summary, I'm about to give up with it because I'm bored already. Um, it's got some of the features you'd expect from a flight simulator um, 
and for that reason it's completely boring I suppose in my eyes and probably the eyes of most people who ever played it uh, so not worth 199 and I'm gonna try and catch this guy one last attempt uh, so I haven't found the enemy and he's now blown up the thing he was aiming for as you can see from that black blob there the sound also went off briefly I'm running out of fuel I honestly don't care I don't even know where I am on the map anymore I guess I must be oh I see I'm heading for the coast again so I'm gonna fly upside down for the rest of the game I'm gonna drop my speed down to a silly level and see how long it takes me to crash actually flying upside down quite nicely at the moment Oh. Oh, oh, I'm stalling. Doesn't like it. I don't even know where I am now. The aim is to go full speed into the water now. Or the ground, whichever one comes first. Black screen. I dived too steeply and my rating was kamikaze. Big deal. <laughs>